we lost uh, one senior, Nathan Gibson, last year. Uh, came off the bench for us, so we're returning all five starters. Um, we return uh, our senior, Hunter Howe, and then uh, most of our other players are juniors and sophomores. Uh, Tanner Riggins is coming back. He was our first team all-district and all-conference player for us. And then Matt Safely and Seth Brown were both second team players. That's returning for us. Talk to me about your defense. That gets overlooked, but that's important for yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. That's That was one of, I think, our biggest weaknesses last year was our ability to be uh, out aggressive in the passing lanes. We didn't quite have the quickness or the understanding of the game to uh, you know, anticipate a lot of steals. And so that's one thing we've really been focused on these first couple of weeks is being aggressive defensively in our man-to-man -man defense and uh, you know, being able to cause some turnovers and some havoc and make the other team feel a little more uncomfortable. And hopefully with our age, as we matured, uh, we've definitely gotten a lot quicker from last year. Um, so hopefully that will translate into some turnovers for us. When you get those turnovers as transition basketball, everybody has a green light just to yeah. go and go to the basket. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we all have our lanes once we get in that transition area, and we're always looking for that easy wide open shot, uh, you know, layups first, and then if we're open on that three-point shot, we'll take it too in transition. Half court game, you can go inside or you can go outside. Talk to me about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, like I said, our first team, all conference off district center, Tanner Riggins, uh, he's coming back. Uh, you know, he's a big asset inside. Uh, we can feel comfortable passing him the ball inside and being able to score on him. He's, he's almost any team we face this year. Um, and if he can't get it going, uh, we have some great three point shooters out there to compliment him as well. With Riggins, it's more of his quickness in basketball knowledge than size. Yeah, you know, Tanner's got that rare combination of uh, height and speed. Both, he's a real quick guy, you know, all-state track runner, and not to mention he's sitting about 6'5", so he can score over the top of a lot of players, and if the player happens to be about as tall as he is, he can usually take him off the dribble from the perimeter. Talk to me about your three-point shooting, about everybody can put it up. Can't they? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, Jace Brown and Matt Safely were our two top three-point shooting percentage guys from last year. Uh, you know, they're both capable of uh, knocking down multiple threes on every single night. Uh, but we also have a lot of people that can shoot three just as well uh, with Balen Bell and Seth Brown on the perimeter and also Ben Bolden and Alex Smith. They can come in and knock down the three. So we got a lot of three-point threats out there uh, that are capable of knocking it down. We go to the proverbial paper. On paper, it looks like you guys could be maybe the top dogs <laughs> in the conference, no pun yeah. intended, but uh, it may not be easy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a tough road for us. Uh, Meadville's moving into our conference this year, so it's the first time that uh, we'll have them facing for a conference battle. And Meadville last year had a great team. Uh, they returned a lot of great players, so they're going to be a big, big target for us this year, uh, trying to be able to beat them. We have them on our home court, so hopefully that will help us out. Novinger is another team I think is going to be on the top of the conference. Uh, you know, I, I figured they were one of the best teams last year, and they got in some eligibility issues around conference time, uh, and we were able to handle them. But this year, I, I think they'll be another tough school to face. You guys always focus on playing a lot of good teams early and a lot of tournaments early. Do you go to Novinger again? Yep. Yeah, uh, actually this year our very first game is going to be against Novinger uh, right before Thanksgiving break. And so, and then right after that, the next week we have the Novinger tournament. So we're going to get tested early uh, to see really how we stand and uh, where we need to go for the rest of the year. Then you go to you go over. We go to North Shelby after Christmas break. North Shelby. Well, yeah. Then you go to another one before. No, then we have our own tournament after that. Okay. You always went to North Shelby though. Yeah. You? Yeah. Right before Christmas or after That's Christmas? right after Christmas. Usually, what, two weeks in January? I can't remember. A couple weeks okay. in January. Okay. That's, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> uh, um, one thing you really want to work on in the early weeks of practice is? Uh, our biggest thing that we're working on in these early weeks is our man-to-man -man defense, you know, getting out in, into those passing lanes. Um, and also right now, we really need to put up a lot of shots for us. Uh, a lot of these kids have been playing baseball or been involved in cross country, haven't been able to put up a lot of shots over the last few months. So we try to put up a lot of shots, uh, you know, get used to that shooting motion, get back our form, and then also our man-to-man -man defense. And finally, Coach, this is your third year. How are you a better coach in your third year than when you started? I, you know, it's that game experience. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get to coach a lot of these guys in junior high, and uh, it, it's amazing how these kids have changed and uh, how they're – play different positions than they did four years ago. Uh, you know, so I've learned a lot about the players. I've, I've been able to learn their strengths and weaknesses. And so hopefully that can translate into some more wins this season. 